This is the final one of a series of videos looking at different dimensions of learning disability and learning disability nursing. Um, this one focuses on the future. What does the next 100 years, we've, we celebrated the 100 years of learning disability nursing. So what, what's, what have we got in store possibly for the next, centu next century? First thing I think is um, learning from history, learning from uh, how learned disability nurses have become ad adaptable, changing from institutional to community care, moving towards a more social model of care. The second point I think is fundamental, and this is around values, the value base of learned disability nursing, which includes things like advocacy, self-advocacy, empowering people to take control of their lives, inclusion, increased inclusion, integration, human rights, person-centred care, all of those things are fundamental to learn disability nursing and I think won't go away. They'll form the basis of how we relate to people with learning disability. The next area I think is to do with the role of people with a learning disability themselves and they, how, how they're central to the care process and how, I think over the next few years increasingly be, the, the issue will be how they take control of their own lives and perhaps contribute more to the economy, engaged in jobs. I think that's really important. The final point, I think, concerns the, concerns the individual complexity and how people with a learned disability, in addition to the diagnosis of having a learned disability, may have, may have diagnoses around autism, around attention deficit disorder, around um, uh, 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 borderline personality disorder, alongside the learned disability and nursing skills will increasingly be about how to work with um, how these different factors might interrelate. Also working with an, el an older population of people with a learned disability, people from ethnic, mi ethnic minorities, um, working differently with men and women. All of these things point to lots of things to think about for the future, but also at the same time a bright future for learned disability nursing, something to um, where we, we can take into the next 100 years. So the next 100 years are going to present a number of different challenges, just as the last 100 years have presented challenges, but nurses have proved adaptable, they prove proved flexible, and I think they can meet those challenges head on and take learned disability nursing into that bright future.